Hello and welcome. The time has come for me to sell my beloved Sony PMW 350 camera. I got it originally with the Fusion on 16 lens, the kit lens, um, but after a couple of years I found out that um, I needed to have an 18 times with a doubler. So I bought this fabulous broadcast quality gold band Fusion on HA 18 times 7.6 lens with a doubler. People know the camera, you know, it's a two thirds inch chip broadcast quality camera. Superb in low light, absolutely amazing in low light. So as you can see, the condition of the camera is first class. It really is good. Um, let me just give you a quick whiz round so you can see here. I've got the focus on the camera, not on me, so you can see what, uh, what's going on there. Uh, there's a battery on the back, it's a I think, Hawkswood battery. And uh, I'll be throwing a few batteries in, possibly, if uh, you know if somebody's interested in. I've got a few little accessories that would uh, that would go with the camera. I'm throwing some S by S cards in. There's the S by S cards there, the genuine Sony S by S cards. Um, there we are. Uh, these, the last one I bought was two hundred, um, but these at one time it were like six hundred pounds for a card. Absolutely ridiculous. You can get them cheaper now, and I will be throwing in three of these. I've got three there, um, and also um, I have the adapters. These they were made in Australia originally. I've still got two of these, and these are so you can use them in the camera, but put SD cards in. So you put the SD cards in the adapter. Um, put it into the slot and it adapts it into an SBS slot so you can use SD cards. And most broadcasters, when you go down there, if you're doing some news or something, you go down there with, um, if you had a choice of SBS and SD card, they'll take the SD card because it's easier for them in their systems. So I've got two of those, two adapters, three SBS cards. There's also other things I've got as well, maybe a couple of batteries. The battery charger, which is the Sony original battery charger the BC L50 battery charger um, with a lead. Um, it's all in a case by the way, so I've got a big black case, of, um, you know, the big heavy duty cases with the corners. It all goes in there, all the kit goes in there. Um, I'll throw the case in as well. Now the only slight flaw with this camera is the end stop on the viewfinder. The viewfinder's on a rail and it travels this way and that way and it's for obviously to adjust the eyepiece, so um, I'm left-eyed, so I need the viewfinder quite a bit this way. If you're right-eyed, then obviously it's closer to that way. Um, but what happens is you unslacken this nut. There's a little uh, rotating nut there with a big grip on it, and you can move the viewfinder left and right, so further away from the camera body or nearer the camera body. If you're um, if you're right-eyed, then it would be a lot nearer. If you're left-eyed, it would be further away. Um, now there's an end stop there, which prevented it from coming off, but it never bothers me because I never um, have it any further than that. That's about my maximum. And it locks anyway. So once you've locked it like that, it's not going anywhere. It's solid as a rock. So you, you've slacken it off, you adjust it, and then you tighten it up again. The end stop never came into it. I could have replaced it, but I didn't because I thought I, never, I don't use it. So. So that's the only flaw on the camera. Uh, apart from that, it's in absolutely perfect working condition. I think one of the reasons the, um, the bodywork is so good on it is because it's always been in a porter brace. These things, 400 pounds to buy. Um, I will throw this in with the camera. So with the camera, you're gonna get the porter brace. With a, it's got the rain cover as well inside there. Um, it really protects the camera and that's why it's in good neck, this camera. I'll throw in the SD card adapters, three S by S cards. The case will be in with a price. Uh, the battery charger will be in with a price. It's done 3000 hours, which doesn't really mean anything because there's no moving parts in these cameras. It did make a difference in the old days when you had DV cam tapes um, and you got motors and things spinning round and wheels and all sorts of things going on. Uh, but nowadays, it doesn't matter how many hours it's done, it could have done a million hours. Uh, there's no moving parts to wear out, so it didn't really make much difference. But I think over the period of time I've had it, it's not really had excessive use. There's a tripod as well. I mean, I'm selling that. 
it's a Vision 8 head and the uh, I've got the Vinton heavy duty tripod legs they're also for sale the, the prices I had in mind for the camera I think the camera's worth about two and a half thousand pounds the lens is worth at least three and a half thousand pounds uh, then there's all the other things which add up battery charger I think 150 150 the batteries I've got an IDX Endura I've got two of those I've got um, Hawkswood battery I've got an unbranded battery which is in good condition good working order so really I mean there you're looking about 600 quid of the batteries um, port of brace body armor as you've seen uh, I've also got which I think would be a must for this camera with this lens and that is the I've got the B4 Fusion on zoom demand which you can probably see the, see the lens going around there um, it's you can tell it's out of some stick this thing I've had it for years um, it's like a tank I don't think you could break it you know hit it with a sledgehammer you might break it um, and but the good thing about this is the speed how slow that's going now and that's on full speed on the lowest setting so it's dead slow and you can go even slower than that by releasing the spring it's a big spring on it and uh, that if I speed up we can't really tell that it's going so slow but you can see there that's zooming in and out yeah fusion and zoom demand it's B4 type which is the B4 lens which are all B4 uh, lens mounts on these type of cameras uh, it's called an ERD T22 and, and again these are ridiculous prices like a thousand pounds twelve hundred pounds for one of these new um, I think if somebody bought this camera I would feel that this would have to go with it because of the lens you know it's so good you know, the, the control you've got over the camera and the lens with this is, uh, is something that you really need you know we can do a deal if somebody's interested in this camera we can talk a deal for all the things that uh, I'm going to be throwing in what else have I got? Um, the Vinton Vision 8 Perfect Balance Fluid Head. Yeah, this is the Vinton Vision 8. I would do a deal on this as well, uh, and, the, and the legs. These are very heavy duty legs. You know, when you're doing sports, say football for example, you need to be rock solid with a camera. Or doing a concert, if somebody on stage, you're doing any jerky movement. So that's why I've got this heavy duty tri tripod. I've got a mains adapter for this as well, I throw that in definitely, uh, mains, the four pin power lead which goes in the back here. Um, I'll show you all the functions of the back, I'll, I'll do a, you know, so you can see what there is on the back. All the rubber things are there, it's obviously STI out as well, so you know you need your STI out for uh, if you're working with a, a broadcaster or you're working with um, a big screen company for example. You've got four XLRs, it's got four channel sound, uh, all controllable line and uh, mic inputs. Um, it's got an HDMI as well, so if you want to do a monitor with an HDMI, you've got an HDMI in there. Again, they're all rubber sealed, so it's waterproof. Uh, got gen lock in, time code out, uh, time code out there. All the things you'd expect to see on a, a broadcast camera. Uh, these the four pin XLR can go in there to, to give you two inputs so the way I used to do it I did a video about this actually so um, I put a link to it it's where you can record with four mics with using one camera without a mixer which is brilliant if you ever need you know quite often you might get three people that want to be mic'd up two obviously is no problem but when you get to three and four um, you think I'm going to do that, but you can do it with this camera using a four pin lead and I've got an adapter which I can throw that in as well um, so a lot of extras with the uh, with the kit um, I've got a Hague 100mm uh, bowl which this tripod sits in uh, for, for a gantry I used to film a lot of gantries you know for sport, for football or being on a cherry picker for example I'd clamp the bowl to the um, cherry picker and then put the camera in the bowl as a two Manfrotto uh, grip so very steady I've got that as well um, that's probably about 90 quid I think but you know these things we'll talk about if anybody's interested in the camera we can we can talk a deal 
So there we go. Um, I think on that note I can sign off and I think you've seen uh, all you need to see and uh, we'll take it from there. Let us know, email me and uh, we can talk later.